What's going on, crackers? Another whip update for you here. You know, in the last video I shot, I said it was likely going to be one of my last whip updates, but uh, like I said, it would likely be. So, you know, that left the opportunity for a couple more. Had some excess leather at the house, and uh, tomorrow, 24 hours from now, is when I get the uh, bar results back. So, while I'm sitting around waiting, I just figured I'd use my excess leather to make a couple more whips. And here is my latest one. This is a 10 and a half foot. It's, it's just a hair under 11 feet, actually, but we'll call it 10 and a half foot long uh, bull whip. It's a three belly bull whip made out of the soft, oily nomad hide. So when I bought that, it was like 22 square feet of uh, hide. I made uh, one whip out of it, and then I had a bunch left over, so I made this one out of it. And I brought with me... So you can see what it looks like. This is the actual Nomad hide. So this is a portion I cut off while stranding. You can see how soft and supple it is. I mean, it's just like, looks like a piece of silk or something. I don't know. But man, I, you really want to eat it when you play with it. It's a great hide. I don't know if it's actually oil tanned or if it's just conditioned with oil. I've gotten conflicting answers on that. Um, Technically, oil tanned leather, when you put it in boiling water, will shrink, and then when you put it in room temperature water after it's shrunk, it should go back to its original size. So I haven't tested that with this, and maybe I will test it, but um, this is the actual leather. This is Nomad Soft Oily Hide. And uh, so what we've got here is a whip made out of that. And we start off with a 10-inch chrome spike handle. You can see it right there. And... To that, I have a um, bolster around a core of strands of this. So I had, um, I think, four different lengths of, of, of leather strands made out of the stuff that I attach to the end of the spike and then bolster that around. And then there's a teeny-weeny uh, belly over that uh, bolstered strand of cores. Then a, uh, I do the Irish method of applying linen to a pool cue and I bind so it's bound around that initial uh, bolster the first belly's on there then I bolstered it again so the first two bellies have bolsters and each bolster is bound and then there are two plaited bellies above that uh, the overlay is done in a 12 plat and I didn't drop any strands until way down oh, there's a gap I didn't even see that of course they'll show up whenever I'm doing them on video but uh, so there was no dropping of strands until pretty far down, probably around here is when I started to drop. But, so what I did instead of dropping strands is I, uh, while they were in mid plat, I would go on with my strander, decrease the width, and um, for each strand still left on there, I would taper it down by stranding it again. So when you get down to around here, you can see it's, you know, they're pretty thin. We go all the way down the thong. We end up in a four-part hitch. There's four strands there. And then uh, I started using these nylon falls. I was using Latigo, but they would break, you know, so I'd be out there cracking uh, and it would break, you know, sometimes right at the fall. Sometimes it would break up near the um, fall hitch, but or it would break at the popper or at the fall hitch. But I never had them break with um, nylon, so I figured I would uh, test out a nylon fall on these, and it and it works as well. So, uh, so for the overlay, some more of that we've got a over one under one diamond plate on the handle, the heel knot. We've got a nice little heel knot foundation there, and then this is a. Uh, six lead seven bite pineapple knot Turks head and a two tone that's deer skin tan deer skin right there a stainless steel fair rule over the transition area and that's flanked by uh, two gaucho knots these Spanish ring knots and this is a, a really nice whip it cracks really nicely it's very fluid it, it moves really nicely and it produces really solid, nice, satisfying cracks. So that was a good one for you. And uh, I'm going to put this one up for sale. Uh, I've started to sell them on eBay. 
I've got, uh, you know, what's left in my inventory. It's just going to slowly go up there. And, uh, you know, maybe if, if I don't pass the bar tomorrow, there will be more that I'll make. But I don't know. Maybe not. Who knows? So I'll put a link on this video to the eBay listing when the listing goes live. And until then, crack happy, crack safe. Crack cards.